Well, I hope we're wrong. I really do. Um, the storm just starting to show visual signs of weakening. The loss of the eye and the fanning out of the water bands. As you can see, the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, is going to get pounded. We've been tracking Belize because uh, several storms and hurricanes have made landfall there. This one made landfall 15 miles from from the previous hurricane and that's very 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 rare and the interesting interesting thing about this storm is behind it off to the right there's a dry tropical depression that could they could be help pushing it through Central America and keeping it from curving back up uh, under the influence of what people call the jet stream which you would think would curve back up at the top of your screen you see uh, a line of water that's traversing up to the top of the screen that's usually affects the hurricanes and pulls them up and out like that but this one is seems to be parked which is bad news it's moving so slowly and I was hoping by morning it would have moved all the way out of Nicaragua but you know this is crazy crazy weather we have a storm that went from a tropical depression to a hurricane in just two days. And then on the third day became category five and started making landfall. So that rapid development, it has to be a record. I mean, it has to be some kind of record. But now this fast, rapid, unprecedented development is now stalling out over the Nicaraguan country and just pummeling Honduras and Nicaragua very very poor third world countries the reports that a makeshift shelter um, a makeshift hospital the roof was torn off there are many many injuries we hope that our fears of thousands of dead um, are wrong we hope that was just um, paranoia and hysteria on my part. But I've been down there to Guatemala and have family going to Costa Rica. And there are very steep hillslide sides there. There's, you know, 90% of the country is rainforest and hills. So water comes tearing down those hills and then the hill slopes give way and this area was already battered two weeks ago by, by another hurricane so when it's flooding almost catastrophically in Colombia you can imagine what's going on in Nicaragua, Honduras and even Guatemala and El Salvador until next time be prepared